Hi, this is a technical support video from Sump Alarm. Today we're going to be showing how to properly install a float switch. And what we have here in this setup is this is its typical sump pump. This is the float switch that operates the sump pump. Notice that this float switch comes on when the water is probably at about just under the level of these bars. Over here we have a float switch which is connected to a high level alarm. The float switch even though it says floats, it, it doesn't operate exactly when it floats. What the float switch really does is rotate around a fixed point. And this is important. If you consider that this is a clock, and right now the float switch is hanging at 6 o'clock, you can hear where it comes on. That's where it comes on. So this is where you'd get the high level alarm. And that's at about 2 o'clock. Now if you listen again, you can hear where the float switch went off. And this is at about 4 o'clock. So effectively, this is high level alarm, and then this disables the high level alarm. And if your pump is operated here, and you've got a high level alarm here, that seems pretty appropriate because you've got about one foot in between the uh, top of the float here and the top of the float switch here. Now a couple careful things to pay attention to. The amount of length in between the rotation point and the float switch determines how much range you have in between on and off. The other thing is that the float switch absolutely has to be tethered tightly and has to have a point of rotation. Now if you're not in a sump where you've got a discharge pipe like this, check out our other video on installing a float switch with a counterweight also on this channel. If you've got questions you can write to us at customer service at sumpalarm.com or hit the chat box on the website www.sumpalarm.com.